Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this Two Minute Tuesday, probably not two minutes, we are going to look at a question we had on the live stream, looking at, like, why, why do things overlap my visual, and how do I prevent that? It's an interesting discussion, and we're going to show you some tips with this. Also, stay tuned after the actual live stream clip, where I'm going to show you something extra that wasn't actually showed during our live stream. All right. Enough of all this talking, let's take a look at the clip. We've got uh, Akil. Um, so I actually, uh, so he said, how to prevent objects overlap on visuals. Um, there's a couple of different aspects with this, and I'm actually gonna cut over to my machine to show some stuff. So the problem, and, and Akil, I don't know if this is exactly your problem, but I'm going to make an assumption. So let me highlight it with this. So if I've got uh, a little slicer panel here that I used with some buttons and uh, overlays and bookmarks. If I click on this back option, it kind of brings it up to the top, right? And that's annoying. I don't want that. So the trick that I was showed, let's see if it actually does. I don't, it was, it was a couple months ago. I don't remember all the details, but I think this is it. I'm going to try it. So the other thing too, is like, if I click here, like it doesn't like, or if I click outside of the area, like I, I want the slicer panel to kind of go away. So there's a couple of things we can do here. So first off is I'm going to add a blank button. You're going to like this, Patrick. And I'm going to overlay it on Watch top it. of the slicer panel. I'm just going to take this to the next level. So uh, with my button selected, you'll notice here it's on t it's up on the top of the selection pane. So that's the Z order. Like where is it in terms of the canvas? What I want to do is move it right above the background shape of the... Um, of the, the slicer panel. Uh, so that way it's, you know, I can still select my, uh, my, my individual items inside. Um, so if I do this, you know, I can still interact with my slicer. That's cool. And then what I want to do, the other thing you'll notice is when I'm in here now, if I select the button, it doesn't, it's not like going, it's not bringing that background thing on top of everything. Right. So it, it there's kind of an illusion there. Uh, so that's good. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do on this button, I'm going to get rid of the outline. Then I'm going to add another blank button. Uh, blank. And we're going to make it across the entire report canvas. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get rid of the outline. I'm going to bring it below the background shape of the slicer panel. And then on this one, I'm going to change the action to bookmark. And I'm going to change it to uh, no slicer. So I've got a couple of uh, bookmarks here. So I've got one where the slicer panel's closed, and then I've got another one where it's open. So I'm going to change it to no slicer. So now, if the slicer panel's open, and I just click here, I got to do. I'm in desktop, so I have to do Control Click. It just goes away, right? And I can click back on. Oh, all right. So now with it out, I need to do this and update the bookmark and then we're going to update and say no slicer Oop. update the bookmark right and then so if i go back to my slicer menu then we're going to show everything's open that's good i'm going to update that there we go and so now if i do that it goes away come back in oops look at that patrick i'm messing it up what happens when we do live streams, right? We're going to update hey, this one. You know what? That's the best part of it. That's the best that's part it, of man. it. This is real. For me, that's the best part. Yeah. All right. And so make sure all of these are good, right? So that one needs to be hidden on no slicer. Update. Right. Did I do that wrong? No. Go away. Update. There we go. All right. So everything's hidden. If my no slicer is there, if I go back to the slicer, these are now opened up, right? And so if I click here, it goes away. And then if I click back on the thing, it comes back. If I select here, it's not bringing the, the background image up. And then I can still use my... So it technically does come to the top because it's selected. Uh, but I go back out. So it's, it's just a little trick. It's a hack, right? So, But it's kind of cool that you can do those kind of things and just have some more of that application type interaction. All right, I want to show one more thing that will potentially drive this even to the next level. Let's take a look. 
Before I show you that one thing, I want to take a look at the actual background button. So what I did here is that uh, button that covers the whole item. I changed that to a fill background. We look at the fill. Uh, it's just black and then 70% on the transparency piece. So that just gives some added separation to the actual report versus the slicer panel. So it's a nice little visual touch. Okay. So what I want to do to take this to the next level is just go ahead and select all of the items. Okay. And then what we're going to do is right click group and then group these items together. Rename it slicer panel and then go ahead and update our bookmarks again. Then we'll hide it and then update the no slicer. And if we go back to slicer menu, so one thing to note, like it's, it's hidden again. So if you have a bunch of bookmarks, updating all these items can be a bit of a pain. So just be aware of that. Just make sure you validate all of those steps. I'm going to unhide it again, update the bookmark. And then if I go back and forth between the two, it should be good. And so if, now if we click, everything's there. And if I click on the background, it goes away. Same if I do click on that button, everything's great. It's more like this app feel. I can still select my uh, slicer. If I select this, it selects the entire group. But if I select it again, it will bring that button front and center where I can't highlight over the, the slicer and make that selection. So be aware of that. So and then we can go in and out. So this just gives you that added capability of controlling and managing the overlaying of items. So groups definitely take that to the next level. Hopefully that helps you get past the frustration and just get your reports rocking as you expect them to be. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments below. We'd love to hear it and continue that conversation. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching, keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.